what are other things that are connected to the aerospace industry that welders might want to look into? There are so many different welding processes that get used on an aerospace engine. So you've got things like laser and electron beam. So your high energy density processes. And that's something that I worked a lot on in my career, not as an operator, but as an engineer. And running those machines, that type of equipment is a lot more like a CNC machinist type job. So you have to make sure your parts are dialed in and sitting true because the biggest failure mode that we came across with any of those, because I don't know if you've seen electron beam weld. Have you seen the EV weld, how deep they can go? It's like an eighth inch wide and you can go about six inches deep. It's crazy. Jeez. The, the risk there is missing the joint. You know, that's the, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the biggest problem. So you've got to make sure everything is dialed in and loaded correctly. So those can be some really interesting careers. But one of the big areas that I saw a lot of people pursue uh, as a further step in their careers in inspection. So you can go down inspection. A lot of people are familiar with what CWIs do, you know, on structural type steel. So a certified welding inspector, you're basically measuring the size of welds, visually inspecting for uh, discontinuities that might be too big and be a defect, those types of things. But in aerospace, a lot of it is done with NDT. So non-destructive testing. You could become a dye penetrant inspector, for example. So parts will run through 250 operations. And you might be welding uh, on or working on in some way a piece of a jet engine that's worth $40,000. And if you mess that up, it's a, it's a big deal. But it'll go through, you know, maybe 250 different operations that all have to be stamped off on a traveler. Basically, every person that touches that and does something to that part signs it with a stamp to say that, okay, I did this job to the work instructions exactly. And everything that you tested, there's a list of characteristics to check all of those checked out. And so after something is welded, the weld will often be covered up. So it'll have to go in and go through a dye penetrant line where you basically soak this part in a fluid that will wick into any cracks. And then you wash the part off and then you use a developer to draw the dye back out. And it's usually in a dark room with a black light. And those can be really good jobs, actually. 